What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new and never watched before, I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. One of the three would be great, but if not one of those three, I hope you at least enjoy it. I hope this just isn't a big waste of your time. If you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, I just want to say this one more time. I know I say it quite often, but it never loses any meaning. Um, I could not do this without you. I greatly appreciate your time that you take out of your important days and your busy lives to actually watch my content and take the time to subscribe or to like or to share or to comment. Man, it helps me immensely and without you guys, my channel would just be nothing at all. So again, thank you very much. We're going to jump into today's video. It is it's going to be another um, Vim Tips of the Day video because let's just face it, Vim is a never-ending pool of content for videos because it is such an amazing, amazing program. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to launch a terminal here and we are going to zoom in. And let's say we wanted to edit our .vimrc. So let's go and vim into .config vim dot vimrc. So that gets us into our vimrc file. And let's see here. Say we're working in here and we're down a ways and we are, say we're on line 84 and we do some stuff in here. And then we get called away so we go ahead and write and quit and we exit out of there. Now, this is my typical day. I am an automotive technician by trade. I have been for 25 years. I am not a computer scientist. I am not a computer programmer. I am not an IT guy. Um, hopefully in the near future I will be. This is what I'm going to school for. But, you know, trying to teach an old dog new tricks kind of takes a little bit of time. So hopefully this all pans out. But as of right now and for the past 25 years, I have been an automotive technician. So when I get on my computer at work, I go in and I edit my scripts. I, you know, I work in files, do whatever I'm doing for the time being. And then when and work comes along when I get a repair order for a vehicle I got to stop what I'm doing now I don't like to leave my computer wide open all the time um, on whatever I'm doing so I do exit out of my um, files that I'm working on and sometimes it's a while before I get a chance to get back to it and then I have to remember well what file was I editing and what line was I on I just can't seem to remember well lucky for us Vim has a tool for that let's go ahead and launch back into Vim and I'm actually going to start screen key and we are going to do this so you can see what's going on so I've opened up Vim in an empty buffer I'm trying to remember what file I was in even if I do remember what file I was in I'll be lucky if I remember what line I was on or what exactly I was editing well Vim's cure for this issue for us old guys who have a hard time remembering stuff is super cool and I use it all the time. All we have to do is hold down the control key. So if we press control and then press O, O, bam, it opens us right back up to the file we were in before. You can see right here, .config vim .vimrc, and it opens us right back up to the line we were on, line 84. Great, great help in my life anyway, because I have a hard time remembering stuff sometimes. So again, this opens you up, opens up the last file you were editing, and it opens you to the last line you were on. So, it is just an amazing help for me because, like I said, I sometimes forget this stuff. It's, it's a while before I get back in, and I can just jump back right where I was and um, just lose, little as, lose as little time as possible in, in doing so. So, that's the first tip. Now, the second tip is not quite as helpful, but it's pretty cool too. Um, this is one you might already all know about, but I just think this is kind of handy because, you know, sometimes you're working in your file and stuff, and you're working in lines, and you get down and yes, before you say anything, if you look on there and you see I was using the arrow keys, yes I was, so I am a, I guess, quote unquote, Vim sinner. I, <laughs> I use the arrow keys a lot. Um, I do have my Vim keys, H, J, K, and L, remapped to J, K, L, semicolon, so when I am sitting with my hands on home row, I do use those, but right now I'm in my truck, so I'm just kind of chicken pecking at the keys, um, because it's kind of hard to sit in the driver's seat with uh, my hands on home row, but... I digress, that uh, kind of got us off topic. Um, let's actually go ahead and close down screen key because now it's just getting in the way. So say you're down here and you're working in this file and you're all the way down to the bottom of the screen. And I know it gets frustrating working at the bottom of the screen, you're in doing stuff, um, your eye is always wanting to get drawn back up to the center of the screen. Um, 
all you have to do is go back into normal mode, stop what you're doing, basically go back into normal mode and press ZZ. ZZ is going to drag that current line you're on and your cursor up back to the center of the screen. It works if you're up at the top too. So if we do, let's say 13H, or excuse me, L, um, it's going to take me right back up to the top of the screen there. And um, now say we're up at the top of the screen working and you press ZZ, it drags that line back down and centers it on the screen for you. So again, that command is ZZ. The first command that opens up your file was control OO. This command is ZZ. Now the third command is not quite as useful in my case. It might be in yours, um, it might not be, but it is super cool. In fact, so cool, I actually mapped a key to it in my, in my VimRC, no matter, even though I'm not gonna be using it anytime soon that I'm aware of. So let's go ahead and switch workspaces to uh, um, workspace three. Let's go ahead and launch another terminal. Uh, we're gonna zoom in and we are going to open an empty Vim buffer. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't do math in a Vim buffer. It's just not something I think to do. I use a tool in my terminal called Calc. It's a great tool. Um, I might put a video out on it in the near future. Um, if you are curious about it right now, uh, go ahead and check out Tom on the internet. Um, he's got a video on Calc and uh, I've been using it for a while now and I know I'm a big fan of it. I know he's a big fan of it. Great guy. If you haven't checked his channel out anyway, you may as well just go over there because it is a great channel. Um, but that being said, I use Calc, so I never would have thought to use them, but this is kind of cool. So let's say you wanted to do some math in Vim. So let's go into insert mode and let's do something simple first. We'll do three plus three. Now we all know three plus three equals six, but what we can do is, actually, you know what? Maybe we will turn on screen key again. So let's uh, turn on screen key. Now, say three plus three. Okay, so we got three plus three. We all know three plus three equals six, right? Well, what we can do is if we escape back into normal mode and we press colon to go into command mode and then we press percent exclamation point bc space dash l and then we hit enter look at that it solves the equation for us it gives us the answer of six now that's pretty cool but let's see if we can do something a little harder um let's do we're gonna do three and we're gonna do oops first we got to go into insert mode jake well now it's gonna give me three eyes so let's do insert mode, let's do three, but now we're gonna escape, no, no, no. I don't want three threes. So now, sorry about this, it's a mess. Again, I am a, <laughs> I'm not always the most organized person. Let's go into insert mode. That would be our first step, Jake. You've used Vim longer than a day, you should know this. So we're in insert mode, let's do three, and let's do times, but then let's do negative six, and let's do that squared. So this right here should be three times negative six squared. So, not three times negative six squared, three times negative six squared. So, now, this I believe should be like mm, 108, I believe. Let's go to four here, let's open up a real calculator, and let's do, so it would be negative six squared, so negative six times negative six is gonna be 36. So, yeah, that's 36, and then we're gonna times that by three, so we're gonna do 36 times three is, yeah, 108. Okay, so, this should be 108. So we go back over to three here, so this answer should be 108. Let's check and see if this actually works in this as well. So, let's escape, so we're back into normal mode. Let's go into command mode, and we're gonna do percent, exclamation point, BC space, dash L, and we hit enter, and there it is, 108. So it can, it can solve a little more complex problems too. Now, I don't know if this is gonna do any quadratic equations or anything like that, but that's pretty cool in my book. In fact, it's so cool that, let's delete that, and let's um, actually go back into insert mode. And let's try another one. Let's do four, and let's do times, and let's do 13, and we'll square 13. And we'll press escape. now. Like I said, I have this mapped. So if we go back over to two here to our VimRC, and I believe it's on line 150-ish, so that should be 16, 66 lines down, so we'll do uh, 66K, 150, and yeah, that's right. So I've got it mapped to liter equals is gonna run that command, the percent exclamation point BC dash L. So if we go in here, I've already got the equation written out. I'm in normal mode, so if I hit space equals, 
we're gonna get 676 and that's gonna solve the equation for me. So again, another cool thing, I don't know how useful that is to anybody, but just another one of those things that shows you kinda how powerful Vim actually is. So again, these are three cool tips. The first one, open up the last edited file to the last line you were on is open Vim into an empty buffer, press Control O O, bam, you're right back where you were. Great, 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 very powerful, very useful. I use it all the time. The second one, center your call or center your cursor and the current line you're on into the center of the screen is Z Z. And then this last one to solve arithmetic equations is in command mode, percent exclamation point BC space dash L. So again, hopefully you find these tips useful um, and you can have some fun with them and maybe it just improved your Vim knowledge a little bit more. Your Vim IQ went up just a bit and uh, hopefully I didn't kill any of your brain cells. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and just enjoy the weather and enjoy, enjoy life, man. God bless.